Namwanga Primary Schools. I'm ready to present a poem entitled Water. Welcome. Water, water, everywhere, anywhere, but nowhere. You are my best friend, and yet I can't reach you at time. Sometimes dirty and sometimes clean, with various effects on my life. Come time for drought. We all want to shun you. We all want to shun you because of your availability in Uganda. This is what I'm going to do, Water. I intend to make you the best of all my friends. Let's cherish our friendship. Do not, do not, let's not destroy it. Water is Life is the title of the poem. It was written by this 10-year-old boy from the village of Namawanga. The people of Namawanga struggled daily to acquire clean drinking water. The women and children of this village walk up to two miles every day to collect water that is typically contaminated and often unreliable. The dry season, which occurs from November to March, brings drought, while the wet season results in higher levels of waterborne illnesses. Typhoid, malaria, and diarrheal diseases are common plagues to this farming community, resulting in poor health, less time spent in school, and lost days of farming and work. In the summer of 2005, three brothers of the Kibunguchi family, who grew up near the area of Namawanga, contacted Engineers Without Borders USA to help this village improve their drinking water conditions. In the fall of 2005, the University of Massachusetts at Amherst chapter of Engineers Without Borders took on this project as their first international endeavor. Engineers Without Borders USA is a nonprofit humanitarian organization which partners with developing communities worldwide to help improve quality of life. This partnership involves implementation of sustainable engineering projects which target the specific needs of individual communities. My name is Catherine Wekesa. I have a poem written by Ms. Robai Kubumba. Welcome. We want to welcome you on a happy day in such a place of Namawanga. It must be a wonderful day of the joy. Truly, come today and again and again. We are too happy to receive you. Here at Namawanga, we have a problem of water. And as you know, water is very important in our lives. So, water, water, would you help us? Thank you. In March 2006, a group of four students and one professional engineer visited the Namawanga community to access the village's drinking water situation. The goals of this trip were simple to understand the concerns of the village, conduct a preliminary health assessment and technical analysis of the drinking water conditions, and to forge a working relationship with the community. In anticipation of team's arrival, the highly active women's literacy group of Namawanga formed the Water Technical Committee with the village elders, area representatives, and women community leaders. The current drinking water situation is stark. The villagers rely on five spring boxes spread through 15 square miles of farmland. Most of these spring boxes have unsafe levels of bacteriological contamination and often dry up during the dry season. During this trip, the EWB team found that exposed spring boxes with poor drainage harbor waterborne diseases. The only health clinic in the area is approximately 10 miles away from the village and is shared by a number of other communities. The group started the preliminary technical analysis with water sampling, geographical surveying, and water resource assessment for possible new drinking water sources such as rivers and natural springs. The EWB team found that all sources were contaminated with E. coli and total coliforms but were absent of any volatile organic compounds or metals that could be harmful to human health. Other water resources in the village, besides the five spring boxes, 
include two rivers that border the village on the north and south, and a few natural springs that seem to flow year-round. Before the team made its way back to Massachusetts, the two communities celebrated this newly forged partnership with an afternoon filled with music, singing, and dancing. For the next 10 months, the EWB group actively kept in touch with the village, developed feasible design options, and also fundraised for the continuation of the project. In January 2007, the group headed back to Namawanga with specific trip goals in mind that were established in partnership with the Water Technical Committee. Additional water testing was also conducted. An infield testing method was used to find total counts of E. coli and coliforms by incubating water samples for 48 hours. The team used a solar-powered incubator that was designed and constructed by team members back in the United States. Protecting the current spring boxes from contamination was done by constructing fencing and drainage ditches. The team also conducted a geophysical survey of the village to help determine the feasibility of drilled wells for drinking water, which is one of the long-term goals of this project. Drilled wells can provide clean water and ample supply. Characterizing the local aquifer is important to the sustainability of the well. Possible new water sources were all assessed. The development of natural springs and the possibility of water storage at different locations were considered there is great potential for developing these new sources in the near future. Looking towards the future, the EWB team intends to return in January of 2008 to assist Namawanga in developing new reliable drinking water sources. The community of Namawanga and EWB UMass will use the same approach they have used since the beginning of this project. Start small, do things slow, do things right, and then look beyond to see what else can be done.